Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to get your Halloween mask on. <laughs> But seriously, because of my love for hair masks in the fall season, I'm going to be combining the two and making a pumpkin spice hair mask. Me personally, pumpkin spice is my all-time favorite fall autumn scent. I always buy pumpkin spice candles every fall in anything that's reminiscent of the fall season. Not only do I love pumpkin spice candles, but I also love pumpkin spice scrubs, lotions, body washes, anything that's pumpkin spice scented. So today I'll be making a very simple and easy pumpkin spice hair mask for you guys. I know that your hair and your nose will absolutely love. Now for this DIY, I'll be using very few simple ingredients, but you can customize this to your liking and add to it what you think your hair needs. So without further ado, let's get started. So you may ask, how is pumpkin good for your hair? Like, what does it do? What are the benefits? So pumpkin is a great source of nutrients like vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. Pumpkins are rich in vitamin E, omega-3, omega-6, fatty acids, antioxidants, and zinc. So with that being said, it's a great promoter of hair growth, it prevents premature graying of the hair, it prevents hair loss, and it's a great hair conditioner. Next, I have cinnamon. You can't have pumpkin spice without the spice. Now cinnamon is also a hair growth promoter. Studies show that cinnamon can stimulate hair growth by improving blood circulation. It's also rich in anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties, which can reduce scalp problems like dry flakes, dandruff, and itchy scalp. Next, I'll be using a little bit of honey. Now honey adds natural shine and volume to dull hair. It makes the hair smooth and moisturized, prevents hair loss, and strengthens hair follicles. Next, I'll be using oil. Now, I'm using two oils in this video only because I'm very, very low on the avocado oil, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that up. But you can use any oil that you want, coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil. So I'm going to use up the last of this avocado oil, and I'll also be using a little olive oil. The benefits of the oil helps reduce dandruff, it prevents breakage, it helps in detangling the hair, it makes the hair soft and shiny, and specifically olive oil has antibacterial properties and antifungal properties. Now some optional ingredients you can add to this mask include your favorite Ayurvedic herb, but fenugreek is always a great one for some extra slip. You can also add a little bit of your favorite conditioner or deep conditioner. And also you can add some essential oils. So I do have a few essential oils that are fall scented, but since this is a pumpkin spice hair mask, it's only right to use the pumpkin pie essential oil. So now I'm just gonna bring everything together, just blend it all up, so just keep watching. Now you'll notice I'm not measuring anything with these ingredients and the reason why is because I have to use the amount that works for my hair and you have to use the amount that works for your hair. You may need less, you may need more, it just depends upon your hair type and hair texture. And it also depends upon the state that your hair currently is in. left of the mixture so I filled up my applicator bottle to a little over six ounces so my hair is freshly cleansed I have it detangled I also have it sectioned off into four sections so I can easily distribute and apply the product throughout my hair so we'll go ahead and get started <music> Thank you. 
minutes, maybe a little bit more than 30 minutes. And I've taken my heat cap off and now I'm going to take off my plastic bonnet. Oh, look at these curls. And my hair smells so good. It smells just like pumpkin spice. It smells like a dessert <laughs> on my head or something. This mask has a lot of slip. It has amazing, amazing slip. My hair is just bouncing and it just it's just making my hair feel really good. It's really soft. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this out and I will be right back. Woo! Okay, y'all. We washed out. My hair feels so good. So soft. So conditioned. One thing I will say about the mask is that it did rinse out of my hair like water. Like it went straight down the drain. There were no clumps. There were no chunks that were in the tub when I wash it down um, the drain. I rinse my hair very thoroughly to make sure that the product is completely out of my hair. Now I do feel just a little bit of debris from the cinnamon. So do you want to be careful of how much cinnamon you actually put in there? I don't measure nothing like I said earlier. So just be careful of how much cinnamon because you don't want a lot of grit still in your hair. But it looks good. It feels good from the roots all the way down to the ends. My hair just feels very, very soft. So I'm going to go ahead and start the lock method and just lock all this moisture into my hair. I have plenty of oils in my hair, so I'm not going to apply any more oil because I can feel the oil that was in the uh, DIY. So I'm going to go ahead and put my, what is this, the uh, OK Coconut Anti-Frizz Detangling Hair Smoothie Styling and Curl Enhancer in my hair. This product is alcohol-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free. A few moments later. Ooh, I had to sit down. But anyway, I work the curl smoothie into my hair really well, just to lock in that moisture. And again, I already had oils in my hair, so I didn't need to add any more. So my hair still feels really soft, very conditioned, just very nourished. I think all I'm going to do is just put my hair into two flat twists just to kind of make this simple and easy and just straight to the point. And so that way, if I want to just wear it that way, I can. Or if I want to incorporate my clip-ins, I can just put my clip-ins in the back so I have my... Uh, flat twist and then the clip ends hanging down so um that way i can switch up my style i'm not gonna do that on this video this video was not a styling video this was just to show you guys the diy and how i make the diy how i apply it to my hair my hair is like cotton it's it's very cottony and frizzy and puffy from the roots especially and it's just a shrinkage city <laughs> Nothing I can really do about that but twist it out and stretch out my hair. So I'm really loving that hair smoothie. That is some good stuff. So if you got low porosity hair and you're looking for a good styler, a leave-in, or a nice cream to do a lock method, I would highly recommend that hair smoothie. But that completes the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this DIY and me making this DIY. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.